Let us assume that we would like to add a T at node number 4 and the branch pipe would be going in positive x direction 1.5 meters. To add a T we just need to simply click on that node and then on the right hand side you can see there are several different options available to us. We can add a welding T, a fabricated T which is either reinforced or unreinforced, a stub in, extruded outlet, a weld outlet, sweep outlet or a non-standard T. For this exercise let us add a welding T to this node 4. Startprof gives you an option to get the properties for matching pipe. If you untick this you have an option of selecting the material of the T, the weld quality factor, header wall thickness, crotch thickness, but if you say that you would like to get the properties of the matching pipe, Startprof will get all of those details from element 3 to 4 and 4 to 5. So that's a matching pipe and it will get all the information of thicknesses and the material from that pipe. Next you can go in and enter the length or the height of the T. Startprof is a smart software. It calculated T height automatically. You can select what manufacturing technology it is being fabricated with and you can also select the crotch external radius. Here you can go in and click on SIF and Startprof will calculate the SIF based on the default values and give you information of the SIFs in the out of plane and in plane. When you are happy with it just click on OK and Startprof will add a T at node number 4. You won't be able to realize this until and unless you add a branch element at node 4. To do that go in and click on insert pipe. Startprof is smart enough and it will say that the starting node for this new element is node 4 and the end node is node 11 which is the next logical number after node 10. Say OK and Startprof will bring in the menu in which you can select what direction the pipe is going. As I said the pipe is going 1.5 meters in X direction so we select that and click on OK. Now Startprof has selected the outer diameter based on the information that we had given for the previous pipe. If you want you can change the outer diameters here and Startprof will change the T from equal T to a reducing T all the other information you can put in here if you want to. The main important thing to remember is to put in the pressures and temperatures as the load cases that you have selected. Right now the load case is load case number 2 operating pressure and temperature that's why it has selected 0 as the pressure and 0 as the temperature. The test pressure still remains 7.5. Fluid density you can add either as 1200 or you can keep it as 0 because that's the operating density, fluid density. If you are happy with all of that just click on apply and Startprof will ask you to keep on continuing with modeling of the piping geometry. As we just wanted to add T to this, uh, to this piping section will just hit on cancel. That is how you add a T to start prof.